My name is Don Lombardo. Uh, my wife, Renee, and I are members of Potomac Valley Church of Christ, and we're privileged to be part of the community service team. I was, I was a little skeptical about how are we going to get all these funds and how are we going to get it out there. It was uh, amazing to, to me to see, like, wait, the money is actually here? Okay. Okay, now how are we going to find folks that we know we can help with this money? The word of mouth, like, was just unbelievable, and it really, then it showed me how many people really did have needs. I think it eventually, it led me to, to realize that like, well, oh, God's using us to do this. We were just a tool for God to use to, to, to reach folks that needed help. And that's where it breaks me out of my, you know, business mindset to where it's like, now this is just, I'm just blessed to be part of this, this whole process. And just hearing the stories and when uh, Renee talking to Anna and just, oh, this person needs his help and here's their story. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, how can we not help? You know, we got to get, we got to get, and then hearing more and more of the stories, yeah, it was definitely impacting to, again, realize how big the need is that's out there. But then, again, seeing how more funds were, were able to be obtained through the grants, through the Alliance, and through the county, and through the CARES Act, that we were able to get more and help more people. Getting the, the structure in place, it took a little bit of work, you know, just kind of just thinking through how we'll manage things. Um, but I feel like that part I could, you know, I could I could really dive right into and stuff. But then when all the, the, the requests started coming in and the funding case started coming in, it was really difficult to keep up with it. I was just, there was no way I was gonna be able to, and we had a, a small group of folks that we were trying to manage it. So I was grateful for, you know, for, you know, you Logan and Cynthia and Shade to be able to just come on and focus on it on a more full-time basis. A lot of discussions, a lot of communication back and forth, and it was just, Again, I was just grateful to be a part of that and just grateful to see the hearts of everybody else that jumped in to help. We can't rely on the government to help everybody. You can't rely on infrastructure to be there to help everybody. It's, it's gotta get down to people helping people. And that's what, to me, I'm just glad to be part of community service because it, or the community service team because it keeps that, um, it, in my mindset, it's like, I've gotta be helping people. It's what God called us to do. God calls us to love Him and love others. Well, how do you love others if you're not out there helping them and you know and supporting them and, and being part of their lives and that to me that's that's been the, the, the greatest blessing and some of this is the, the, the opportunity to to, um, to build relationships with folks so you go out there you start helping somebody it just it becomes more than just giving them something it becomes hey let, I'm gonna give you a part of my life and you're gonna give me a part of your life and we have a relationship now and you get to know people and you get to to grow with people and I think that's the vision I have there so we always have it on our mindset every day that hey, how can I help somebody? God still wants us out there with other people. That's the way he designed it. God designed us to be around each other, to be serving and helping each other. And no matter what adversity is out there, nothing matters except, hey, you're a human being that needs my, my, my help, my love, and God's love, and I wanna get out there and do that.